Okay, we're headed for this one today. New Hobbiton. I guess that means there was an old Hobbiton. It's a bit close to the other base over there. I don't know whose that is, but it's a bit close. And you can't find this one so easily uh, because it tends to hide out. Let's get down here anyway. As usual, it looks night time ish. Um, he's sprawled all over the place on this one, which is unusual for him. Um, but we'll give it a go. Let's see what he's got. Still shaking. It's night time. We wait for the morning. Okay, it's close enough to uh, daylight. We're going to take a look at the uh, blobby bit, Mr. Mr. Phys Ed. This is New Hobbiton. I don't want to keep name cheeks changing that way, but let's uh, grab the coordinates a second. Okay, let's go off up to... This is where the hobbits must live. <laughs> I guess it being Hobbiton, there must be hobbits. I don't remember seeing any. But here we are, this is his first house. Um, this seems to have all mod cons, it's never a telephone. He's got a bed and a fire. Purple fire, the weeds are coming through, but that's okay. So this is one of those primitive hut things. He's uh, got some gamma weed outside if he wants to smoke that. So let's go to the next one, which is somewhere probably... Over there. Grabbing this one first. He's got a little ladder on this one, so we go up this. Oh, I'm stuck on the ladder. Again, bits and pieces. He's got a pet slug in a bucket. Uh, two. There's two there. I think it's two. <laughs> yeah, two. Okay, he's got two. Uh, he's got some fruit. He's a fruitarian or vegetarian. That's the two buildings. I think there's a third one, but I can't quite see. Oh, there he is. No, that's not him. Oh, yeah, he's is on roof, isn't he? Oh, God, I'm stuck. Hang on. Let me get out of this. Okay, well, <laughs> try and get up here. So this is the third. they got small building, a uh, small chair to sit down and look at the view, probably. Um, again, slightly layout different wise. Uh, this one's got a fish tank, so he's living. Uh, oh, he's got his he's got his nip nip indoors. He makes it real fresh. So the next place is uh, the windmill. I think we'll just get up there because it's a long way off. As I say, these places are. Let's have a look. What we got here is supported by roofs. <laughs> I think. Probably roofs. Uh, he's got a light bulb underneath, which is handy. It's upside down, but it's handy. I can't get out of there, you fool. <laughs> There's a gap. There's a gap. We get this way. Um, he's obviously got his cement, and he's a pile of wheels. Look, he's got lots of wheels. Um, toggle. Well, oh, go on. You know, I can't resist a button. Okay, just. Shuts it in against the weather. Let's open that again. Um, just to uh, get rid of the... F oh, did I open that? Oh, wait. Try again. What? What's going on here? Hang on. It's got two doors. <laughs> there seems to be two doors. And it hasn't opened the second bit. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay, um, I don't know what's going on there. Some sort of glitch on my drawing half. Oh, slipped off. What have you got there? Look at the wings. The sails. Uh, we do the camera mode for that. Okay, cute sails. Nice, brightly coloured. <laughs> it's, um... I don't know whether there's some sort of hobbit mill. 
and uh, it's interesting. It's got different roof roof styles. And a really great wheel in the middle. Obviously for the grinding. You don't want to be bearings running out, do you? Let's go out of there. Uh, next place is over there. Oh, well, we're going to go there anyway. See when we get there. Alright. Let's have a look. What we got here, then? Saurons. I don't know what the hell that means. Is it somebody else's base? I don't, couldn't tell you one way or the other. However, all it is is a module in here. Trees up there. Someone built some up for him on his base. Oh, I can't get up on the wall. We're, we're up. Uh, so we're in the uh, initiate sphere thing. Uh, there's trees all the way around and trees covering the roof section uh, if you like trees uh, it probably just stops the water coming in just about <laughs> let's get down again all right so it's, it's just an interesting little what i would call a folly so we're on to the next one which will be around about there, I think it was. Let me just um, get down here. Soon see. It should be down this drop there. I see a wall. That must be the one. Uh, with the leaning flowers. Trees again. Oh, crap. It's a bit steep now. Oh, there's a wet, oh, there's a bloody rock in the way now. Get out of the way, rock. Okay, so, is this the head, the head hobbit? <laughs> he lives in a bigger house. Hello. He's not a hobbit, obviously. Door's open. It leads into a cave. Uh, steps again. Let's have a quick look along here in case there's no way out. It's probably just a decorated cave. No wonder he died. He probably got trapped in here and couldn't forget out again. So, oh look, he's collected nip nips. Secret nip nip garden. And, oh, what have we got in here? I don't know. <laughs> there's a door. Whoa, the fire's on the floor. <laughs> fire's led down. Um, whoa, it's a slug in the buckets again. Two twisty ones. It's, um... I see it, I can't see down there. Let me get a camera. Okay, there is a way out, but I just noticed the uh, people stood on the roof. <laughs> okay, we're going to jump down here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where it goes. I'll probably end up being lost. Or trapped, as usual. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a, a way out. Or is, it, is this another cave he entered? He says, unknowingly. It's just a small room. It's just a small cavoid. He's filled it with the bloody plants and things. And the bones. Oh crap, I can't get back in. <laughs> I don't get back in again. Shit. Let's get up here. Okay, I lost the door for a second. It's down here. I can see those nip nips again back over there. Let's get back in here. Doesn't seem to be any other way out. We've got to go this way. 
and end up back into the small hobbit space. Um, over there. Walking backwards, because I've forgotten where I'm going. Well, there's the nip-nips. I saw those from over there somewhere. I think. I can't be sure. But there's nothing else down here. Okay. Let's try and find a way out. It was back this way. Past the uh, blobby bits and the diplos. And then on to the stairs. The stairs. It's another huge cave system again. Uh, we got another build up here. Um, the squiggly diggly room. Um, it's probably a pool. <laughs> it's a moon pool door in it, so it's like pretending to be a lump of water. Lump. Gotta have a lump of water. Uh, so we got the bogies. And is there anything else in here? We can't say for sure. Um, oh crap, there's another damp. Was that the same room? We, I don't remember. <laughs> yes, it, oh, I don't know. It may be different. I don't know. No, it isn't. That's where we came out. Okay, so, oh, right, that's why it was pyramidic. <laughs> Triangular shaped. I couldn't see. Ooh. Okay, lots of doors there. How many doors? Can't tell. Loads. <laughs> All right. So he's out of there. Okay. Next is this Hobbit Town. It must be over there. I'll see you over there. So oh, crossing over the top of the hill then leads us on to this building. Um, is that a catapult? <laughs> uh, it's one way to throw your grapes. Some sort of slingshot or something. I don't really know. Uh, it's huge. I wouldn't know what to call it, but it's carrying grapes. Huge grapes, that is. Let's go in here. It's just kind of like a, a bridge effect across this gully uh, shame it looks a bit damish let's go up here carry on along a bit we might better see where we are in a minute I don't know wait is that a way round can we go round this one in case there's anything else around here no I think it's just a uh, cylindrical room in a cylindrical outer casing um, well do I want to go down there I don't know will it lead me anywhere I do think it does it's just a nice oh well I'll just fall in anyway it's trouble you can't see your feet it doesn't go anywhere, it's just the bottom of this piece. I've got to find the damn door again now. Right, I think I come through. Um, oh, a stairs. So it's not completely walk around a ball. Let's get the stairs. Light bulbs. Up the stairs more. And uh, onto the, uh, what do we call it, a parapet or a balcony. It's a round one, whatever it is. Guck, a guck, a guck. Three gecks 
<laughs> a mushroom. I don't know it says much for him, but there you go. Um, it's got sails or flags. Let's get up on the top of here. Oh, get on the top. Can't see my feet. Right, on the top. Oh, I don't want to jump down to there particularly. So we jump down onto the roof. Because it's just a roof. And the uh, passageway we went under earlier. And glass door. Did that move? Oh, of course, it's the dam. Yeah, it did move because it's the door, basically. There it goes. Right, next stop is across the river. Here's the next building across the river. It's damn gone night time again, so I'm going to have to wait till morning again before I carry on. Right, daylight. Again. Uh, we're going to um, drop in on the, the roof section first, I think, just to have a look. Uh, probably. <laughs> okay. What we got is water. Oh, don't walk off. Oh, don't walk off. Right. Water being pumped into the river. What? <laughs> okay. It's coming out of the hill, pumped across, and then down into the river. So, as you can see, it's dropped into the water. Oh, um. Yeah, Hobbit physics. <laughs> um, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> okay, um, okay, that'll do. Uh, I know there's a door here, so we're going to drop down now and get in here. Cut the story building. Cut the wheels connected to why is the uh, I don't know toggle not turn them off ah, must be for the sails uh, kind of half of them at least it's doing that thing again weird There's a small glitch there somewhere Nothing to do with uh, Mr. Phys Ed. And uh, it was looking alright when I popped in earlier. Oh, don't walk too far. Um, there's a nice fire there. I was almost cooking. Two pots. And we got this sphere initiator turning on and off there. That's um, nice. What's in there? Oh. Just the smoke generators in there. Making it look like it's smoke pouring out of that fire, probably. But the other, where's another toggle? What's this one do? Oh, shut the door on me. <laughs> Good job on this side. I thought it'd be stuck. So anyway, that's dropping balls down into the boat. I can't get in the boat, but I can't even get out of the boat. But right. out of the hold. Ah, uh, here they come. Of course, he's vanishing earlier now because I'm looking at it. Um, so this is um, some sort of propeller-driven thing. I'm not sure what. It seems to be sucking the water up the pipes and piping out into the... Hmm. Alright, we won't worry about that. It'll probably be just be. And uh, now they're not... <laughs> now they're not coming out at all. Right, let's go. We are across here. 
on the pipe? Oh, I'm not even on the pipe. I missed it. I wanted to look at this tower anyway. So that's okay. It's just a plain, normal, simple tower. Nothing drastic. With a walk way out of the water up to the edge. Let's go. Um, the next item, which is just over here, so I don't have to pause it, so we just cut across. It's made up of um, the bloody moths, they're getting everywhere. It's a different one, there's about two or three different ones on this bloody planet. The cowshy shrooms, uh, so some monument to some nip nip. He loves his nip nip. Uh, shall we walk across the bridge here and go to that one and walk back? Yeah. Okay. So we go across this bridge. It's kind of a arched bridge. A double arched bridge. We can look at it from down there where the boat is, so that's okay. So we cut back across here. Um, why has it gone dark? I think I'm just in the shadow of the mountain here. I don't think it's uh, going night time, it's just a uh, shadow. Okay, so we've got <laughs> we got some sort of uh, uh, well, it actually looks blacksmithish but I'm not sure uh, a couple of plants fire in its own room with a bed right next to the fire for the lizards amongst you uh, he's got his sitting room and a bed and what's that his luggage probably we got tree root down the bottom there. I'm not sure I can get back out again, but we will try in a second. We got a seat, a door around it, all around to the back of it, I guess, uh, so the barman can get in, have a beer, have your flower pots. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're limited, but I know what you mean. Flower pot drinking. Uh, what have we got in here? The scroll maker. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. It could be whatever you want it to be. Um, the door at the back, for some reason. Why couldn't it come in from the front? We don't know. We've just about squeezed through there. Here's the back entrance. The scroll maker. I know it looks like a scroll, but it's probably, not. probably my imagination. Uh, this leads us to another back room door. Oh, I don't want to shut another. It probably shut the shutter. Reckon? Yeah, of course it will. One shutter. We're closed. Go away. Right. Open. Uh, okay, I seem to be having troubles with... Oh, God, I can't even get in there now. It's on. It seems to be... Uh, got a drawing glitch for some reason. It might be me. Let me just... Yeah, it still did it. Still got to draw it. I don't, I don't think I'll shut one of them down. See, it's open, but it's shut. Hmm. Again, I don't think it's... Um, it's the Fizz Ed's choice. See, it just seems to be drawing wrong. Uh, we got some flower vines. We got a little storage cupboard. And another, or oh, is this the blacksmith entrance again? But we come in with it. I think so. Yeah, 
that's where we came in. Let's try um, going down here a second. Eek! <laughs> it won't let me. Oh, shame. Okay, it won't let me down there. Bloody moths. Okay, moving on to the last... The boat here. Uh, as you can see, there's the bridge. Oh, bloody hell. Walk off, why don't you? A big hole in the fence. <laughs> um, okay. Nice high arch. It's for high tide. Who knows? Uh, we got a boat. And on the boat, we have a wheel. Because you've got to steer it somehow. The sails. And some fruit. Otherwise you'll get scurvy. You don't want scurvy. That leaves me with that. Oh, we're going to go across the bridge for that one as well, aren't we? We're going to cut across here a second. There's another arched bridge. Okay, that's nothing to do with him. So we're cutting across the bridge now. Bloody butterflies, they've got so many bloody butterflies in this place. Hell of a lump of butterfly. What have we got here? We've got a door opening. And we've got a kind of gap. That must be the coat hanger. The cloak room. Uh, this door opened up on us, obviously. Oh, crap. Right, okay. I just went all funny then. Alright, so we've got a door opened up on funny. And then we've got a down into a puddle. In the puddle is an upside down tree, <laughs> statues of the local Gek superheroes and more upside down trees. Lots of upside down trees. Obviously trying to stay hydrated. Right, where's the stairs? I don't know, I've lost it. Oh here, next to this traveller here who's not a geck. Let's get up here. Uh, there's a door. Uh, it leads straight out into the water. Uh, it's dropping balls galore up there. Hmm. Okay. I think I can squeeze down here let's tight fit just about walk up there we've got the door with a pie pie and fruit and veg pie fruit and meat I don't know fire just in case it's cold he's got a beer mat Going okay, round, we got a bed. This is scroll maker. He lives here, um, and he's got chests and windows and room to look out. Not much of a view, because I can't see. Oh, I'm not going to touch those just in case. What's in there? Oh, there's clams in it. I think so. So we came up on it. Right, so there's that room. Oh, don't get too close. And then we got a bit of a veranda across the bridge. That's the bridge. Is it any higher? That's where the balls are dropping. 
don't think there's any uh, stairs here, so... Is this the last room or the first room? Oh, it might be the first room. I think this is the first room we went to because there's the stairs we came up. We need to get up the top. Can we just do a camera up there first? Nah, we just go out on the outside. Where's the... Where's the... Where's the... <laughs> lost it! Get this veranda. Let's go upstairs. Uh, it's not anywhere to land. Okay, we uh, got up here. It's bloody night time. How's it come night time already? Damn it, heck. Um, keep, it still wants to walk on its own. <laughs> it's not very nice. Um, so all we got left here is the one building there. It looks like a bit of like a shed. We're going to wait for daylight again. Okay, we was up on top of the orange ball there last night, so I walked over during the night time. Have a quick look on this side of the river at that. Uh, the boat loading. It's pretty neat, I like that one. Although I'm confused by it. <laughs> Still, that's nothing unusual either. We now have the last shed. Um, it's got a huge great wheelbarrow in it, obviously. Uh, I don't think there's anything underneath, but we have a quick look just to make sure. And no, you can't get under there anyway. So there you have it. It's Hobbitville. Hobbiton. New Hobbiton, I should say. Um, I just noticed the port teleporter, the base terminus, shrunk and stuck on the side of the blobs, of the squares. And there you have it. We are gone. See you later.